Hi, numerologist community, and happy new year. Welcome to the full and new moon series that I do every other week with the lovely Kelly Fox. Hey, Kelly, how are you? Hi, Rose. Good, thank you. That's good. Now, today we're going to be talking about the very first new moon of this year, of 2020, 2022, um, which is the full moon, uh, the new moon, sorry, in Capricorn on the second of this month. So what does this one have in store for us? Well, I think it's perfect timing to start off the new year. Um, and so what it's about is, you know, we set our New Year's intentions mm -hmm. and this is a wonderful time to do it and make sure when we do it, it's for the long term, because the energy of Capricorn is about the long term. You know, the, the influence of this new moon, new moons are about new beginnings, Capricorn's about ambition and goals and planning. And so this is a, a wonderful time, given the past couple of years we've all had, a wonderful time to start thinking ahead. You know, so Capricorn, it what it teaches us, this new moon, is about putting one baby foot in front of the other instead of like making great strides. Because, you know, sometimes when we think about uh, big plans and goals and um, things that we know will take a long time, it might feel overwhelming. And especially if you're a cardinal sign, and that's Cancer, uh, excuse me, Aries, Cancer, Libra or Capricorn. So it's it's important that we sort of break down our ambitions and our goals into really baby steps. And then, then it seems a lot more manageable. So I really urge and encourage everyone to, um, you know, dream the big dream and think about the New Year's resolutions as difficult as they may be. Um, you know, because Saturn, the planet of karma, is connected to this new moon. So what that means is that, um, you know, it might feel challenging. You know, we're hopeful because it is the start of the new year and there is a lot to look forward to. Uh, and it feels like the worst might be, might be behind us. Um, you know, we're not out of the woods yet, but this gives us hope with this new moon and you know everybody in most parts of the world primarily the northern hemisphere everybody's sort of we've had the holidays they're behind us now so we're thinking about um, our professional life and our reputations and our career and how to move forward with that under this new moon and if you're looking to make a change with your job or your career this is the time to sort of start thinking about it as well with this new moon in Capricorn. Now, the thing that it's doing is it's forming a really incredible trine to Uranus, planet of the unexpected. So what that means is um, there might be some unexpected events that come about or pleasant surprises, because, you know, as we know, surprises are not always fun and pleasant, mm -hmm. but um, with this really nice trine, it's 120 degree angle that the moon, the sun and moon are making to Uranus planet of uh, not just the unexpected, but Uranus is the planet that shakes things up. You know, it, it brings things that we weren't expecting but what it's also doing is it's telling us to think outside the box because uranus is the planet that um it doesn't color within the lines you know it's it's radical and rebellious but this time in a good way so you know it's very much about think outside the box have these long-term goals and ambitions and really make big plans for the future but do it in a way that might be different than what you've done before mm. uh, especially if you're an earth sign and that's taurus virgo or capricorn or have any planets in the earth signs it's really really great energy for that now i'll, I'll go through what it means for each grouping of the signs this time i might do it by element uh, so if you're a fire sign and that's Aries, Leo or Sagittarius, uh, you know, this energy brings a groundedness, you know, it brings um, stability and, you know, because this earth energy, uh, you know, for, for a fire sign, it sort of brings things down a bit to reality because sometimes with the fire signs, you know, they're really spontaneous and creative and just sort of dive in at the deep end. Uh, but this uh, earth energy of this new moon in Capricorn is very much about, you know, leveling the playing field and making things doable rather than scattered, you know, we're all over the place. Now, as I said, if you're an earth sign, uh, Taurus, 
Virgo or Capricorn, you know, this is this is music to your ears, this type of energy, because you can just get stuff done. It's the stuff that you do so well. You know, you're uh, typically the earth signs are very um, practical and stable and reliable and responsible. And now it's a wonderful time for New Year's resolutions for the earth signs uh, to really think long term and plan for the long term, not just this month or this year. And then uh, we've got the air signs and the air signs are Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. Uh, this also brings stability because, you know, the air signs, as brilliant as they are, sometimes it's hard to, um, you know, put plans in place because sort of flittering all over the place because there's so many brilliant ideas that come up in their amazing mind. So, um, you know, this does bring... Um, you know, structure, I think, in a lot of ways for the Earth's, uh, excuse me, for the air signs. And then finally, the water signs, uh, Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces. Um, this is amazing energy because, you know, the water signs are the psychics of the zodiac. And so uh, always uh, guided and steered uh, by their increased and amazing psychic uh, perceptive abilities. So this brings... Um, you know, solidity in some ways, or, you know, this groundedness that comes about. So it's like dream big water signs, and stuff can really happen, and for the long term. So that's, that's the best way to use this energy. That's super exciting, um, especially for me as a, as a water sign, you know, I'm a water sign, Kelly, um, sort of, the second day of January, the second day of the new year, we're going, we're getting this sort of big burst of sort of energy that will help us sort of set intentions for the year to come and really do some amazing things. So I'm super excited about that. Thank you. I hope our, I hope our uh, watchers, our viewers are really excited about that too. Um, and because next time we'll be talking about the full moon in Cancer on the 17th of this month. So we'll see you then. See you then. Bye, Rose. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more readings and forecasts every single week. Head to the description now for your free numerology reading and to view our latest blogs.